Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name's Gareth. So today we've got a um, <clears throat> reading for you, just a general reading um, for the first half of June 2020. So because it's a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody so check out your other placements. We'll have um, just a small um, spread with a main issue, what's above you that you're aware of, what's beneath you that you're not aware of. So a recent past, immediate future, and then an outcome card. And um, we'll clarify those and uh, see what we've got for you. Okay. Right. I'm going to extend my giveaway to include this first half of June's um, readings purely because nobody commented on my May ones. So you've got a good chance if you do uh, comment on these that you're going to uh, be successful in a free reading. And. Um, yeah, good luck. Right. Let's start. So, Taurus, there's your issue. That's what you're aware of. That's what you're not aware of. Me recent past, immediate future, and outcome. So, the bottom of the deck is the lovers. Lovely. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Or it could just be a significant other. We'll see. So, your main issue is Ten of Swords. So there's an ending somewhere. Um, could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, yeah, there's an ending. I mean, don't get much more of an ending than that. So we'll see what the ending is in a bit. What are you aware of? The world. Beautiful. Um, so you know, I mean, the world's your oyster, and you're aware of that. So it's something that you're very confident about. Your subconscious, what you're not aware of, the King of Wands, perhaps a fire sign coming in. Um, top of his game. Energies are fluid. I mean, you know, genders are fluid. Sorry, so um, kings are readers. He queens as she, but uh, can be masculine or feminine. Uh, Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius there, possibly coming in. Recent past, Two of Cups. So there could be a relationship ending here with the Ten of Swords and the recent past being the Two of Cups. Uh, and the Lovers overall. Immediate future, yeah, Three of Swords. So there's a break up here, uh, Taurus. Um, could be breaking up with an air sign with the Ten of Swords and Three of Swords here. Truth coming out, endings, and your outcome is the star. So a beautiful outcome. So it sounds, it seems, seems to be that there's, um, it's a good, whatever decision you've made, Taurus, it's a good call. Because what you're aware of, you know, you've, you've got the world at your feet now. Lovers as the overall energy. So yeah, I think there's a break up here. Um, but I think you've got a, a fire sign coming in. And uh, the future is uh, is beautiful with the outcome as a star. Hopes and wishes. Let's see what we'll clarify as we go. So, ten of swords. The world. King of wands. Two of cups. Oh, two came out for the three of swords, I'll take them both. And the star is your outcome. Right, bottom of that deck is strength, so you could be dealing with a, a Leo. Oh no, it didn't. It didn't, two come, didn't come out, it was, um, I dragged up the one from King of Wands. Useless today, I tell you. So. The issue, Ten of Swords, with Seven of Cups. So you could be dealing with a, a water sign, especially with Two of Cups here as well. Um, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, maybe this sort of relationship was a bit, a bit, a bit of a fantasy land, a bit of dream world. No real commitments, possibly. What you wear of World and the Ace of Pentacles, wow. Superb, Taurus. Um, a gift from the universe is going to change everything. 
you uh, you might be coming into a bit of money, possibly. But you seem to be aware of that, so maybe inheritance. The bottom of the deck, page of wands with the king of wands. So I think you definitely got a fire sign coming in. Good passionate news. Good stuff. Two of cups recent pass with the five of wands. Yeah, I think you've had conflict here. Um, and I'm definitely seeing an ending with the uh, ten of swords and three of swords already on the on the plate. So three of swords and as your immediate future with the nine of cups. So I think the breakup is what you want. It's it's an ending that you want. It's a wish fulfillment. Um, cups again, so you could definitely be dealing with a, uh, a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The star is your outcome with the Empress. Beautiful. Yeah, lovely. Um, maternal, you know, uh, the harvest is in. She's bountiful, she's got everything she needs. Uh, that with the Ace of Pentacles as well, I think financially you're going to be where, very well set. Taurus. Um, so yeah, it looks like a, a break up here. Taurus, I think you're going to be breaking up with either an air sign or, or, a, or a water sign. But, you know, what you're not aware of, there's some passion coming in. You seem to be the gift from the universe with the with the pentacle, the Ace of Pentacles, and and this split up is a is a wish fulfillment. So I think you're going to be happy with the outcome. And you know, and the future is uh, the star and the empress, which is beautiful. Okay, Taurus. So yeah, not much to say there. You know, the outcome's fantastic. It looks like the world's at your feet. Alright Taurus, look after yourselves, uh, if it resonates, leave a message or leave a comment anyway for the uh, competition, and uh, I'll, I'll see you next time, cheers, bye.